standing in the fourth century synagogue in Capernaum, but Jesus lived in the first century. What's amazing is if you go outside and look underneath, you see the first century synagogue foundation directly underneath us. This is actually the spot where Jesus taught what we're going to read in Mark chapter 1. We're looking at the life of Christ, who he is, and especially in this lesson in Capernaum, that he is the one who wants to cleanse us. One of the most important things in life is to know that you're forgiven. And Jesus can forgive anyone of anything at any time if they just come to him in faith. Let me read to you what happened in this site. It says in uh, Mark chapter 1, if you want to follow along in your Bibles, and in verse 35, they were in this synagogue where earlier in the day Jesus had been preaching. Uh, behind me and to the left is the place where the preacher would have stood, the one who read from the scroll. And while Jesus opened the scroll and read from it, in the middle of his message, a man in the back looked up, recognized Jesus, and the scriptures say he began to scream and say, I know who you are, Jesus of Nazareth. Have you come to destroy us? Now what the scriptures say is this man had an unclean spirit. He had a spirit of uncleanness, a demon that had filled his life with uncleanness in his behavior and his thoughts and his activities. And Jesus looked at him and said to him, be quiet and come out of him. Jesus actually, the word be quiet means be muzzled. He, he told the demon, he restrained the demon. He said, be muzzled, stop talking. And then he cast the demon out. And it says that the man was immediately liberated from this demon and all the people were amazed and immediately Jesus' fame spread throughout. So people started seeing he could even cleanse them from these demons, these supernatural beings that inhabited them. Then the scriptures say, now in verse 40, a leper came to him full of leprosy, kneeling down and saying to him, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Somewhere between here and the next city Jesus was walking to, after the demonized man in this place was cleansed, as Jesus walked, a leper, a leper who outwardly was totally covered with what people thought of sin looked like, the oozing sores of leprosy. This man was a walking picture of sin, and he came up to Jesus, knelt down at his feet, totally filled with leprosy portraying sin, and said to Jesus, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Have you ever wondered what Jesus thinks about when he sees us sin? When he sees me sin? When he sees you sin? What does he think about? Does he go, ooh, and just kind of think evil of us or little of us or, or think that there's something horrible about us? This is what the Bible says Jesus thinks when he sees us in our sin, wanting his cleansing. Then Jesus was moved with compassion. When Jesus sees us, one of his creatures, under the power of sin, it moves him with compassion. But it doesn't stop with a, an emotion. It says he stretched out his hand. And it says Jesus touched the leper and cleansed him, saying these words, I am willing, be cleansed. Who was Jesus? Jesus is the one who can cleanse us of every sin, no matter how deep it is, no matter how dark it is, no matter how bad it is, no matter how long it is. Jesus said, I'm come to cleanse you. Who was he? The only one that can cleanse us from our sins. <laughs>